Hi there, my name is Charlie Diana, and I'm running to be the Vice President of Seaford Little League. I wanted to introduce myself to you from this video, because not all of you have gotten to know me over the years. I've been involved in the league for over 11 years, both as a coach, a travel coach, and most recently as a board member. I passionately believe that youth sports, and Little League in particular, are important parts of children's lives. It gives kids of all talent levels, the ability to play baseball and be members of a team and learn what it's like to socialize and play baseball. Little League is important to our community and is important to me, and that's why I've dedicated a great deal of my spare time to making Seaford Little League the best league that we have on Long Island. Let me take a few minutes to make my case for being the next Vice President of Seaford Little League by going over some of the things I've accomplished in the past few years. Hi there. Let me explain to everyone some of the things I've done while serving on the board directors of Seaford Little League. First and foremost, I've been the player agent for the past three seasons, which means that every kid that registers for the league has to hand in a piece of paper that I check and enter into our database. So that every year, I get a stack of papers like this, about six or eight inches high, with everyone's name, phone number, email address, and date of birth. And I check them to our database and put them in and register them. It basically takes me from the end of October when we have our first registration to when we have our final sign-ups in February. It is a tireless task, but I'm happy to do it because it allows us to get our kids playing. I also have the unenviable task of being a scheduling guy. So I schedule 500 games a year, starting in about the mid part of February and going until the mid part of April. But then it doesn't stop. I then have to deal with rainouts and reschedules and events that I missed when looking at the school calendars or just general issues that come up during the year that we have to reschedule games. It becomes an endless cycle. And unfortunately, I get to be the guy who represents C for Little League and is telling coaches who want to reschedule games that they can't. So, sometimes I get to be the bearer of bad news. Something that goes with the job, but I'm always the one that has to do it. I've also had the opportunity to serve as an unofficial C for Little League webmaster. I'm very technically proficient in using the internet, so I just naturally grabbed hold of the Seaford Little League website. So over the past three years, I've been the guy that did all the updates. I found out that we could start emailing coaches and players, and I introduced all the emails that go out. Pretty much every email that comes from Seaford Little League is written by me. I also coordinate the website, put on most of the news events, and also founded the part that does all the text alerts for rainouts and those things. I also, last year, on my own, wrote the Seaford Little League web portal so that all of you coaches can go in there and get information about your players. We'll be expanding that in the near future so that next year it will be even better. Those are the things I've done as, as just major tasks. But other things I've worked on are I schedule all the professional umpires and coordinate them when games get rained out or moved or rescheduled or in general, anything. I also spend a great deal of time working with the town of Hempstead to reschedule games at Siemens Neck Park or get us more permit space. And because I'm so involved in the schedules, I get to touch other organizations. For example, Wantaw Little League or North Belmore Little League because since I did all the schedules, I've become the de facto interleague coordinator, working with them to have games in divisions where otherwise we wouldn't have enough teams to field a division, like the juniors division for boys, softball majors, and softball minors. It's been a privilege to work with other t towns because it's a bigger world than just Seaford, and I've made some lifelong friends who have been on I've been honored to say have endorsed me in this race, not because they like me, but because they know I'll do the best job in this race. 
I've done a lot of other things, help organize our Save Seaford Sports Fundraiser last year, or working this year to help us get our trailer secured and ready to be the new home of Seaford Little League for the future. We're also working on getting a new field built at Siemens Neck Park. These are all things that I've been involved in and all show how much I care about the league and how much time I'm willing to put in and spend. I've gone to every single board meeting in the three years that I've served on the Seaford Little League Board of Directors, as well as every single sign-up for registrations. Not because I have to, because I want to. I believe that I make the best candidate because I'll try. I will work tirelessly for all of you and your children. I'm asking for your support on Tuesday, October 8th. Please vote for me and you will get a tireless worker who will be the best vice president that I can be. Thank you.